let's talk about success. Because when I started my business, I was chasing a lot of the external metrics of success, such as more money, you know, more followers. And I didn't realize I was chasing it until one day I talked to a prospective client and I asked, I asked this person, tell me about your goals. And then they said back to me, well, to have a business beyond my wildest dreams. Doesn't everybody? And I felt this deep sense of unhappiness from them. Like I felt this, this deep grasping and chasing and like refusal to be happy until they got to a certain number or a certain lifestyle. Like when I felt that from, from that, from this person, I recognized that within myself. And I go, wow, no wonder so many entrepreneurs are not happy, are not deeply happy because by chasing the external numbers, there's always, you, you, you get to, you might get to a certain stage and you realize, oh, that didn't really fulfill me. Let me chase the next stage of numbers. So I want to share with you in this short video how I transformed that to now focus on internal metrics that then allow the external metrics to work themselves out. And as a result, I'm a lot happier and I'm a lot more stable in my business, stably growing year by year as well. Now, here are the three areas that I focus on. So for the external stuff, let me complete that thought. For the external metrics of how much money I'm making and how many followers I have, I actually just aim to be average. I aim to be average. Now, secretly, am I, the, the m amount of money I'm making is probably more than average from most of my peers, but compared to like the big stars in my industry, I'm definitely below average there. But the, the, the external numbers, followers, you can see, you go anywhere on my social media, I'm below average if you compare it to the stars in my industry. But I've practiced being happy about that because I focus on these three internal areas. So the first area is to master my craft. Because the more, the better I get at what I deliver to my clients, the more skillful I become, the more they benefit. And the more they benefit, the more it inspires me to become even more skillful in the skills I, de that I deliver to my clients. And you too have skills you deliver. And you too, probably many of you are already focusing on mastering your craft. And that's wonderful. That's the first area. The second area is to prioritize my personal growth practice every day when I work on my business. So a lot of times people work on their business and they get into these ups and downs feelings of, oh, successful launch. Oh, bad launch. Oh, successful day today. Oh, people said no to me today. And it's just like this up and down of emotions. That's such a roller coaster and it's so discouraging or it just wears you down over time. Whereas with me, I've been running my business since 2009. I restarted my business in 2014 after burning out from all this external chasing. I restarted my business 2014. And ever since then, I've been gradually growing, thankfully quite sustainable, but gradually growing year by year in a very calm and joyful way. And I've been stably delivering services to my clients and students year after year since 2014. And the way I do that is because every day I show up and whatever I'm doing, whether I'm writing an email, making a video, writing a blog post, doing some bookkeeping, planning a launch, you know, solving a technical problem. I'm asking myself, what is the spiritual quality that I can practice in this moment? Am I practicing awareness of my breath? Am I practicing compassion for somebody else as I'm making this video? Am I practicing curiosity as I'm, if I'm solving this tech challenge? So all of these things allow me to go, wow, every day, it doesn't matter what happens during the day. As long as I'm practicing something, then that day is a success. And that makes my days so much more delightful than I think most people who are like, oh, I got to solve this problem. I got to get these sales or whatever it may be. Get these people to say yes. I don't care if they say yes or not. As, as long as I keep showing up and keep practicing some kind of 
kind of virtue or value that I care about. If I keep showing up, I know people say yes eventually, and they always do eventually. They always do. But if I just keep showing up, that's it. Just practicing the internal stuff, no matter what happens today, then it's successful. And then the third area that I practice is continuing to optimize the balance of work, rest, and hobbies. And these three areas, if I keep optimizing, because that always keeps changing. Work keeps changing. Rest, most of us forget to rest enough, take enough breaks throughout the day. So that has to continually be vigilant about rest and also to be vigilant about, am I working on my hobbies or am I letting them go too focused on work? Or am I too focused on my hobbies and not enough on work, right? These three areas of work, rest, and hobbies are continually, we all have to keep optimizing that. Practically, that means to look at our calendar and see if we're giving enough time and energy to these three areas. So anyway, these are what I focus on now and allows has allowed me to be stably successful year after year after year, keep growing gradually in a calm, joyful way. So I hope this inspires you. And uh, I always am open to your comments below. So thank you so much for joining me for this.